Hi guys, Squall here. Welcome to another episode of My Summer Car. If you remember in the last episode, we left it with the fatigue bar being on red and me about to go to sleep, and that's still the case. I was about to go to sleep and remembered that I normally put the light on before I go to bed, just in case I wake up and I can't see a thing. Uh, and obviously, I got cut off because it's Tuesday, which means the bill came through on Monday, and obviously I didn't pay the bill. Uh, so we're going to go and pay the bill and then we'll carry on. Now, thank you for the comments that reminded me that Grandma wants sausage, milk and sugar. So I've, uh, we'll, we'll have to check the van actually, make sure we've got sausage, milk and sugar. And we'll head down and see Gran. We'll also need to collect the plastic bottles from the tip because we just uh, sold a lot of kill you. So some of it is currently brewing. Uh, we will need to get 219 marks. 281 kilowatts? You want me? Uh, we will need to get the car that we won from Pigman at some point. And also, we're going to have to gamble for the house. So whenever I'm feeling a bit lucky, we'll go and see if we can sort that gambling side of that out. We need to go and recover the car, though, which means we'll need the van because there is a wasp nest inside of it, um, which I really don't fancy fighting with. So what I might just do is take the truck around there and drag it around. Uh, we can, of course, lower it into the lake to get rid of the wasps. Also, I keep, I've got this massive problem with the exhaust look. It keeps, like, it won't, it won't stay on. It's almost like it's bugged out. Like, I can't even pick it up now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just right-clicked and something dislodged. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, I heard that. Maybe it was that, I don't know. It's probably the sound from this. Look, it's just bugged out so much. Don't know what's going on. I'll try and um, I'll try and bolt it on in a minute. So let's do it now, otherwise I'll completely forget one. I just grab a toolbox. I don't think we'll die from fatigue. I think the fatigue bar goes like I think what you see on the fatigue bar is about actually half of the bar's full size. Uh, is it a five? Can't remember. It's something like that. It's quite a small bolt, if I remember. That's not a five. It's not a six either. Okay, that's that bolted. Um, now, I have refrained from using mods in this game so far because it's an early access game, and quite frankly, I want to play the game as the developer intends it to be played, so I don't use mods. However, as you know, there is one bone of contention I have with this game, and that is the ability to only pick up one thing at a time. So I've finally reneged, because I'm bored of that, and you can now pick up more than one item through a mod called Carry More. So if I press the X key, you can see down the bottom left there, I've got a backpack of 10. Uh, so what I can effectively do now is I can press the E key, and pick things up like that and you can see them going into my backpack down the bottom left so i can stack up like 10 of these things like that and then i can walk over here and press the y key and just drop them on the floor i personally think that he needs to put something in the game whether it's a purchasable item a backpack of some kind or allow you to use shopping bags to put like four or five things in perhaps there needs to be a solution to this. It, it's just a little bit too silly for me, just only being able to pick up one thing at a time. So I'm using the backpack mod to do it. Who the heck is calling me so late? Dude! It's like nine o'clock at night. Come on, bro. Okay, well, we don't, we're not desperate to do that. So yeah, I'm going to use this mod, uh, which will also allow me to just tidy up the, uh, the garden a bit. I, it kind of hit me when I was... You know, the last episode, I was down at the, the boat and I had like five fish. And the idea of walking from the bottom of the lake to here, one fish at a time, just, it was just too much. I just thought, no, th th this is, this is too much now. I need to do something. So I found that mod. There's another one called a backpack mod, I think it's called, but um, currently that one doesn't work on the experimental branch that I'm on. Uh, let's see, we got the fish. Uh, did she want fish? No, she wanted sausage, milk, and sugar. She didn't want fish, did she? Sausage, milk, and sugar. I don't see sugar in there. I don't really know how much she'll want from us. That's the thing. 
Let's pick up maybe two, three of those. You see how useful it is? It's like literally something that you do all the time. I mean, the guy who wrote it could just make it so that you could pick up a hundred items, but, you know, he was keeping it real, which I appreciate. But anyway, that's what I'm using. So now we need to go to sleep. Um, do we risk sleeping in the house or not? We've still got the problem with the jail to sort out. It's just so annoying, this jail thing. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll turn the light off if I can find it. And for now, I don't want to get caught for now. So I'm going to go and sleep in the... Uh... What did I do with the sofa? Is it down in the shop? I think it's down at Timo's, isn't it? So yeah, we've got the water pump as well to sort out. The water pump's broken. Uh, so I need to get that fixed at Fitari, and I need to buy... Uh, why is there a battery in here? The heck? I need to buy a... Uh, alternator belt, because that's what was missing. So what happened, I think, and looking at your comments, I think you probably agree with me, what actually happened was the water pump just failed which it does things wear out in this game and then because it fails the belt goes round and the water pump's not really moving so the belt snaps and then everything just starts to overheat uh so let's go to sleep hopefully we'll wake up and there'll be some amount of daylight and i can actually see what i'm doing perfect that looks like 5 a.m or something right, let's grab this and the other thing about this mod as well is because it puts it in your backpack you can continue to like you know pick things up and use your your torch and open doors while still having things in a you know carried which again is just extremely useful uh where did i put all the batteries Let's put that. uh that's the old battery i think okay jerry can gasoline We'll put this in the van. I can't remember if this thing is full or not, and the game still doesn't provide a way of testing whether it's full or not. It'd be great if you could just somehow look inside and it would go 70%, you know, just an approximate number would be perfect. Right, let's close that. Let's put these in the corner. Don't really know why that's here, but I think we'll shove it down there. And we'll get rid of this. And the front is looking tidier already. Look at it organized teenager that i am uh right so van let's get in the van start off by where are you glow plugs why won't you let me press you there we go get that warmed up uh what have we got here we've got the water pump and the pulley so we'll just have the pump for now and we'll put that in the back, even though I really don't think it's going to survive the journey. Because this game will troll me, and it'll probably fall out. Uh, let's also have a quick sharp, sharp before we get... There we go. And of course, we might as well kill two birds with one stone. Don't do this in real life, it's disgusting. Um, I'm just thinking, I didn't hear the brew go in. I'm concerned if we're at... Oh, there it is. I just heard it then. I was going to say, I think it's only been brewing for like a day or something. Quick drink of water. Still dribbling, apparently. And uh, let's eat some... Actually, we're not doing too good for supplies. Really. Chips are no good because they're really salty, so they make you really thirsty. Now, I'm going to take the torch with me. Put that in the back as well. Make sure we've got all that stuff. I can't remember if I ordered the computer. I think I did. But I'm not 100% on that. Uh, this thing doesn't have a clock in it, does it? Crikey. I'm trying to think if Gren will even, even be there. I think she starts early, Gren. But I'm not exactly sure. Not that early though. Tell you what, we'll go to the we'll go to the tip, and then we'll grab the bottles, and then we'll visit Gren on the way back out, and then we'll probably head to down to Timo's and Futari and sort the other bits and pieces out that we need to do. So we've got a, a day of errands to run. Okay, that's not working. Oh, 
Why is the radio not working? There we go. We want the high bend, don't we? Hmm, I think it may be too early for them to transmit. That's what it is. This is the 90s, like... People weren't transmitting 24 hours a day back then. Okay. Now, the windscreen is not anywhere near as dirty as it used to be. And he's also changed the way that rain falls and stuff like that. So, um, that's very different now. And the wiper blades kind of reflect it. So we'll try it without smashing the window, which is my traditional way of cleaning. And hopefully the radio will come on at some point. Right, off to the tip. Right, made it to the tip. I almost flipped it over, actually. Is it this way? I can't remember if it's that way. I think it was that way. Or maybe it's round the back. No, I think it was that way. No! There we go. That's better. I didn't realise this path went all the way around here. Now, this is where the backpack mode is going to come in, like, insanely useful. As we'll see. There's the wipers. There's the handbrake. Uh, Seatbelt off. Let's kill the engine for now. And what is that? Piece off my car. Okay, that's random. So yeah, but now we can just go like this instead of needlessly throwing them around. Wait, there's some milk here. <laughs> what? Why is there a carton of milk on the tip? But more importantly, why am I picking up the carton of milk? As if I'm going to actually drink it. Um, just checking if the water pump's still here, which it is. Okay, so we just do control Y and look at that. Oh my god. I don't ever want to go back to not using this mod ever again. Inventory management. And we'll pick that last one up and throw it in the back. And control Y. Boom. What about that? I mean, seriously. I've been playing this game since it came out. And, like, every time I've done the kill you thing, it's been throw the bottles over here, throw the bottles in the back, watch them fall out, pick them up. No more. No more! Okay, let's go around and head to Grand and see if she's actually awake. I'm not 100% sure on the time. I'd guess I would say about... 8? 8. 8.30 maybe? I think she's an early riser, because I think she disappears, um... I think she leaves her house at about 2. Like, if you turn up after 2 o'clock, I don't think she's there anymore. We'll see. Right, level crossing. Don't hear the train. Straight across, and Gran should be on the right. I believe Gran has got some new stories, actually. Oh, she's not there. No, she's not there. Gran, what time do you appear? Oh, she's there. There she is. Hey, Gran. Sorry, I'm shining the light in your face. How oh, very rude of me. How you doing, Gran? <laughs> Let's go and get some stories. Right, what do we need? We need uh, sausage, milk, and sugar. Oh, wow, this has all got messed up. Couple of sausage. I don't know what she needs. Does she need one of each or two of each? Will she pay more if you bring more? Two sausage. Right up to the sugar. Two sugar. And two sausage, two sugar. And two milk. One milk there. One milk there. Yo! Gran! How we doing? You're not talking to me. There we go. Do you already have a girl in mind? You should look for one before they move to the city. It's a good point, Gran. Do I just put the things in the tray? There you go. Gran, I need some coffee, Gran. 
Young girls don't like it here unless they get married and have children. What does the city life offer? I don't know, Gran. I, I'm, I'm not a city person either. I don't get it. It's true. I love the way she drinks out of a saucer. People wonder why old people do that. I can tell you why. What is it that they don't have here? They should really find yourself a wife. Gran, I'm still young. I need to live a little. Yeah, you see, the, the coffee's too hot, so they pour it on the saucer because it cools it down and then they drink out the saucer, you see. Your dad is quite sober, man. I thought he would start drinking after being rejected from the 1972 Olympics. Gran, he never entered the 1972 Olympics. He couldn't even run 50 meters. I don't know what he was telling you, Gren, but he wasn't that good, trust me. Nice coffee, Gren. Oh. Is she saying more than I'm seeing in the translation, or is Finnish just really verbose? See, I can't pick these up now, which kind of means that she's taken them. That's Grand's tray. Anything you put in Grand's tray stays in Grand's tray. Your arms are tend. Maybe the alcohol gene has gotten into you. Keep away from drinking. Take a look at your uncle. I hope he's doing okay. No. Another coffee, Gran. It's nice coffee. It's very strong. No. Sorry, I didn't mean to push you, Gran. She looks like she's been through the war or something, doesn't she? She's battle hard and Gran. Oh. Coffee me for me. Like Valto, your granddad, after he came here from the war, he was a different man. No talking, no kissing, only drinking. Well, the war does that to you, Gran. Just bad things. Nice coffee. Just keep it green with her. The war was a hard place for the young boys, but Valto came back and built this house and set up those fields before dying from drinking. <laughs> he talks in a matter-of-fact way. He built this house. It's in remarkably good condition. When your parents are coming back from holiday, I wonder what it is that summer here in Finland is not enough. It's probably the mosquitoes, Gran. I don't think they like the mozzies. I don't like the mozzies either, Gran. What's that in your ear? Nah, I'll tell you what, I don't want to look. I've had 78 summers in Finland and never needed to travel into some foolish places abroad. <laughs> well, your parents have always been such active people, I guess. <laughs> Gran's 78. 78 summers in Finland. I wish you could go into Gran's house, that'd be awesome. Yeah. What is it with young people at the store, playing that thumping music out loud? Mm. I'll ask them to turn it down, Gran. I know your ears are a bit sensitive and all that. One sec, Gran. Back in a sec. Just need to water the plants. Is that music or what? Just thumping away. There is no slightest sense in that. <laughs> is this like Google Translate or what? Google. Young people these days, they should go to work thumping away in the middle of the town. There's even a church there. Yeah, Grand, did you not go to the church rave? It was amazing. I'm getting thirsty. I've had all this coffee, I'm going to need a beer. You don't mind if I crack open a beer, do you, Gren? Sorry. And the language! All I see sorts of genitalia in my head when listening to them talk. I can't visit the store these days. 
semmoista se kielen käytökin. Nyt tulee niin paljon hey. kaikenlaisia, oh kun mä kuvia mieleen, että She's ei hilkis kyllä käyvä. Oh, I thought he'd bend it then when he went over there. Do you have plans for the future? Are you staying here? No reason to move to the city. There you will find only foolishness. Yes, Glenn, I thought what I'd do is I'd find a woman and settle down and spend 78 years in Finland before complaining to my grandson that it's rubbish. There are no jobs, they only say that. Lots of people applying for the same jobs. You should stay here and get a wife. Oh, Gran. Gran, can you just, like, give me some pocket money and let me go, please? Because, like, I've got things to do, Gran. Do you have plans for the future? Yes, I'm going to Flitari's, I'm going to Timo's. If I just keep saying yes, maybe she'll let me go. Uh, no. No. Mm. you need to get some plants or something. Oh. She's repeating herself now. Mm. Yeah, you need to get some flowers out here, Gran. Get a nice garden going. Mm. Oh. Oh. the bus or something. She must live right next to the main road. Oh. Your dad is quite so Look, she's repeating herself now. No. No. Gran, I brought your stuff. Let me go. No. No. Oh, finally. Here's a little money for you. Oh, thanks, Gran. Is that it? I should be getting that an hour, listening to you. 300 mark, a little pocket money. Thanks for nothing, Grant. <laughs> Ungrateful teenager. Do you, want a, do you want some fish? I've got some fish. I'll keep it. When she asks for fish, she pays a fortune for the stuff. But I don't know if she buys it unless she asks for it. See you next time, Grant. Whenever that is. Right, let's get this water pump down to Flitari. Crikey, that was tedious. Uh, which way should we go? Let's go... Oh, we'll go around the dirt track and then maybe jump on the tarmac. It's quite convenient, that bridge, because it tells you now where you need to turn to go to Flitari. Just before the bridge, take a left. Whereas before, you used to have to try and guess roughly where it was. Right, it's Wednesday. The radio just came alive as I was driving down the road, so I'm not sure what time it is exactly, but... I had a guess around 9 o'clock, maybe. Which means the radio starts roughly around then. Handbrake. Uh, mission. <gasps> Didn't put the seatbelt on. Not good. Uh, there we go. Right, water pump. Now, you can just bring your car to him. Put that in my backpack. And then I can use the door properly. Um, 350 for a new one. I can't remember if you put this on the shelf or something like that. I know you have to bring it with you or take it out of your car. I can't remember where you put it though. Anyway, how you doing, bro? Boiling me or um, you can just get it fixed into in here, I think. Or you can just buy the new water pump if you bring the old one. Uh, rim polish, regular painting colour. Some nice rally wheels. Brake check and repair wheel alignment, engine adjustment, motor tuning, windshield, suspension, roll cage. Can't remember which option it is. Anyway, can we buy one of these? 
350 mark paid. It's interesting because I've got a hold of the old one now. So I assume it's still broken, but normally you put it on there. I'm wondering if because I picked it up with the inventory mod, it kind of broke that. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for doing business. We've got things to do. Bye. Can we take this? <gasps> Actually, can, you can sleep on this. Wait, is this the one that... Hey, is this a different one? I thought I left one up at the shop. Maybe I left it here. I can't honestly remember. Right, we'll take it. We're not leaving it here. I'm going to leave it up at T-Mills. How you doing, bro? Do you need your sewage emptying yet, or are you still good? Let's have a quick check around the back of here, see if there's nothing shady he's added. You never know with this guy. Certainly, he'll add something to the game and not tell you about it. Hmm. Don't see much. One day, I hope we can actually build this truck. That would be so much fun. I'd actually find it more interesting building a truck than building a car. I really hope he adds it. Or at least makes it so that you can mod it into the game. Right, let's get that on. Let's get that closed. And get up to team. Let's buy ourselves. I think we'll buy ourselves a couple of um, alternator belts. So we've got a spare one. I like having a few spares in the garage. Thought I'd fill it up while we were here. Because I think it was on like half a tank or something. Let's close that. Oh my god, it's that song. You either love this kind of music or you hate it. Guess what I am. <laughs> It's just noise to me. Um, right, let's see. We've got loads of stuff in the back. Now, we've got a sofa here. Well, it's actually the rear seat, but we've also got a sofa here. So, as it turns out, we can leave that one here to sleep on and put that one somewhere else, which is cool. Uh, there's one thing we do need to do. Timo! How you doing, bro? Wait, what? Uh, okay. Have you not got anything for us yet? Oh, man. Um, uh, right, so we're going to order some spare bits and pieces here. We're going to need, wow, 300 mark. Whew. Right, we'll have two of them. We'll have an extra box of spark plugs. Don't think we need an oil filter. We've got plenty of that, plenty of oil, plenty of that, plenty of batteries. Uh, spray paint. I can't remember how much spray paint we've got for the car. I'm going to buy a tin of white just in case. Um, what else do we need? Don't need mozzie spray. I think we've got sugar. We do need some nice savoury food though, so we'll have a few of these. Um, yeah, do. Don't need any macaroni. Don't need any milk. That'll do. That's going to be like 800 or something. 783. Dude, it's getting expensive. Thank you and so long. Right, let's throw this in the back. Now then, when you get the computer, which we don't have yet, but when we do get the computer, we need a phone number in order to dial up the online bulletin board system. Why are you not starting? There you go. And the number that you need is unique to everybody's save game file, so you'll have a different one to, my, to me. You have to go and get it. And you go and get it from over here. This uh, abandoned office. Oh, I can break on. So we'll go and find it. So if we walk into here, walk around the back, there should be a letter. Which it won't let me pick up, but it does say... 938, and this is the important number, 158959. 158959. Let me just make a note of that on a piece of paper. 158959. 
Now, it's quite clever of him not to let you pick that up. Because it, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? 158959. That is the bulletin board number. And that last six digits there is unique. If we don't have that, we can't make online... Um, we can't dial up the internet, as it were. Such as it was back in 1996. It was all bulletin board type stuff. But from there we can download games, you see, and play them, which is like super fun. So I thought we'd make a note of that. Right, so let's get back and... Uh... Wait, what did I do with the water pump? What did I... Am I going mad? Did I put the water pump back in here? Guys, what did I do with the water pump? I remember buying one. Does that mean the one on the shelf was the fixed one? What the heck? Um. Okay, I may have to go back to Fritari because <laughs> I've got a feeling that I just made a mistake there somewhere. You're probably still screaming at the screen right now going, you idiot! <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think I was confused because I brought one in. There was already one on the shelf, which really threw me. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty certain I need to go back and get that. So let, I'll go and do that now. We'll, we'll go back and get it. Because I don't have a water pump and that's no good. Yo, bro! What's on your mind? Um, I kind of forgot about my water pump. You know, the one I paid for. Well, I'm just going to take it, okay? Yeah, he seems okay with that idea. Can't believe that. It's just nuts, that is. Luckily, he hadn't closed. Right, let's see what's on the radio. Oh, my God. What is it with Wednesday radio? Right, let's get back. Fit the pump. Okay, let's grab... Oh, do you know what? I forgot to fill up these. Oh, what a scumbag. I can't believe I did that. I took two jerry cans with me and completely failed to fill either of them. I'm doing so well today. Right, tell you what we'll do. We'll go and open this inside the pantry bit. And then it can explode in that. And then we'll take the paint. And put that in the garage. Uh, looks like I didn't have any paint, actually. That's interesting. I thought I had some. Right, now we need the water pump pulley. Oh, do you know what? I had this awful, awful sinking feeling then that he'd put the alternator belts on the floor and not in the bag and I had to go back and get them. Oh my god. I, I honestly thought for a minute then, is it going to be one of those days? Uh, the empty plastic cans we're just going to leave in the back. Got plenty of drink in here. Just thinking there's anything else we need out here. Fish is good in the back. We'll leave the torch in there as well. Because we're going to need that for something else. And, uh, right, let's get the toolkit out of the car. Which has suddenly mystically gone down there, even though I didn't put it there. And we'll plug this thing back together again. Right, first up is going to be the water pump. Which we will... Do that with, and then try and remember. I honestly can't remember the size of the bolts. That was a very lucky guess. One there. Two there. Should be another one up here. Three. Four. You know what? I'm pretty certain there's five. One, two, three. Now it looks like there could be four, actually. No, there is five. 
It really annoys me with the way they screw on backwards, though. Right, five. Uh, where have you gone? Water pump pulley. On you go. I assume you're not going to be nice and simple and be exactly the same size. Oh, you are. Interesting. Okay, that's those four on. And then now we've got the belt. It's never a good angle to do this, is there? We get a bit closer to it. Why don't you want to go on? Maybe I've not got you unlocked or something. One second. Let's get the screwdriver. I think maybe it's not unscrewed. I can't remember what state we left it in. We unscrew that and then bring the belt all the way into the minimum. Had it there. There you go. God, it's awkward, isn't it? Eh? So awkward. Right. So if we bring it all the way up to the maximum now, which is about here, and then bring it in one, two clicks. And tighten it up. Should be a good starting point. Okay. I'm going to double check. Uh, this shouldn't have leaked anything, but it's not going to hurt to just double check that. Uh, oh, crikey. Well, that's a good job of check that, isn't it, eh? Completely empty. I'm not exactly sure how, but it seems to have all leaked out the system. That would only normally happen if the radiator hoses were undone. Man, you had to take the water pump off, so obviously I had to empty the system. So it does make some sense. Thing is, like, it doesn't visually show you. Like, you take the water pump off and you don't suddenly see water going everywhere. So you don't get any kind of visual clue. Uh, so we'll put that back on. Just going to double check the dipstick while we're here. Uh, looks just over halfway, so I think we'll, we'll, we'll top that up. And put a bit more in. When we just had a little fault like that, it doesn't hurt to just check all the levels, doesn't it? You know, because it did sort of overheat. It didn't overheat drastically, but it did overheat to the point where something may have gone wrong. Even now, I'm wondering if the battery might have gone flat. Uh, let's bring one of these as well. We'll check those levels too. We'll do these one at a time. We'll do that one. That guy with his chainsaw is so annoying. Tighten that up. And screw that one. Yeah, these look these look pretty well topped out, but the real test will be will the ignition come on? Right. Time to see what state the uh, what state the water pump is in. Okay. Well, we've got power. Okay. We had power. Until I turned the lights off and then it all died. Okay, that's interesting. So we had power, then we lost power. Which kind of implies that the battery is indeed dead. It 
it's not making it easy for us, is it? Right, let's try, is it the 10 for the battery? Or is it the 9? I think it might be the 9, actually. Or maybe it's the 8. Take it off the negative. Take off the positive. I'm going to hope that one of these is fully charged. But I don't actually know. It'd be nice if you could buy um, a battery test meter or something like that. That would be cool. Battery's good. Let's give it a bit of wrong one, give it a bit of choke. Okay, well, that's not actually squeaking. Which is a good sign. It means we've got the alternator in the right setting. So the belt tension's fine. Oil's looking good. Water pressure's rising. And the battery is holding, which means it's charging. There's no lights anymore. Let's bring the choke in. Battery's in the green now. Okay, sounds good. What's the muffler doing on the back? Is it actually stayed on? Okay, that sounds good. I think we've got ourselves an operational car. 13.9, should be 14.7, but I don't think the temperature's up there yet. All right, I'm happy with that. Let's put the lid back on. And then not. Okay, we're going to have to seriously consider getting some nice wheels, guys. I'm not happy with these wheels at all. We need to get some, like, proper rally sport tyres. Need to get some good rims on here. That's what we need. No, I don't remember, and I could be just going mad here, but I don't remember the panel missing off my door. Does anybody remember the panels missing off the doors? Maybe it's always like that and I'm going blind, but I don't remember that. Let's quickly have a drink. Doodle -a, doodle -a. Quick drink. Right, I'm reasonably happy with that. Fourteen point six, that looks pretty nice actually. Check that handbrake's on. Is this another late night sewage run? Your post order's arrived. Dude! It is like half past six at night. You tell me that my new order has arrived just as I've come back home. You utter nightmare. No way does the post get delivered at half six at night. Like, he knew. He knew that that had been delivered. Right, well, I can't go tonight. I need to go in the morning. Oh, you scumbag. Right, let's have a cigarette. And consider our next move here. Um... Mm. I think what we're going to have to do is go back and get the... I think I ordered the computer, didn't I? I have to go in the morning and get that, but we're not yet fatigued enough 
If I go to sleep now, it'll be the middle of the night, so we could go and sort out Pigman, see if we can gamble our parents' house away. Turn that off, that shouldn't be on. You know, charging that battery is going to cost a lot of money. Um, but it would be fun to play around with the PC. Once we get that, though, we're never going to want to leave the house. We can't go for the watch yet. Saturday night, I want to go and try and get the watch again. Go and have another fight. But yeah, maybe we'll go and get the computer. I think we'll have to uh, leave it there for this My Summer Car episode. I know it's been a bit of an admin one. But we're in a good position now. The car's working again. Uh, and the computer has now arrived. You just need to go and pick it up. So I think we'll leave it there. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Take care and don't die in my summer car.